Good happy Friday morning. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, former chef, sheriff's deputy accused of sexual assaulting inmates. A former Belknap County Sheriff's Deputy was indicted on Thursday on multiple counts of sexual assault on several inmates. OSHA Circus Tent Not Properly Built Before Collapse The circus tent that collapsed during a severe thunderstorm in Lancaster last year was not built correctly. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration said Thursday. Pope on Trump. Anyone who wants border walls isn't Christian. Pope Francis said Thursday that Donald Trump is not Christian if he intends to build a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border. Trump immediately fired back, saying it is disgraceful for a religious leader to question a person's faith. Shaheen prepare to present bill to fight drug crisis to Congress. U.S. Senator Jean Shaheen is preparing to present a plan to fight the state's drug crisis to Congress. Shelter in place order lifted at UMass Amherst. A shelter in place was lifted at UMass Amherst Thursday after reports of one or two hostile armed people at Perpont Hall. DHMC test drug diverted from cannibals for rare form of LPS. A New Hampshire family is hopeful that a drug diverted from cannibals that is being tested at Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center will help treat a rare form of alopecia. Rochester man for string of Dover burglaries. A Rochester man has been arrested in connection with a string of recent burglaries in Dover. Lack of snow, tough for winter business. This winter's lack of snow is causing problems for winter activities and events across New Hampshire. Jeremy Remy talks Red Sox health and his new broadcast partner. Jeremy Remney is feeling healthy and optimistic about both the team's upcoming season and his new broadcast partner. Lawmakers consider creating drug deal registry. Lawmakers in Concord are considering creating a registry of convicted drug dealers as a tool in to the fight against heroin and fentanyl abuse. Group gets North Korea sections bill aimed to allow MIA searches. A coalition of veterans' families has helped push for a change in congressional legislation to protect efforts to find the remains of missing P. OWs and MIAs in North Korea. Truck driver says he swerved to avoid dog before Marlboro crash. 
A section of Route 101 in Marlboro was shut down Thursday morning after a tractor trailer truck crashed, snapping utility pulls in taking down power lines. New Hampshire primary source. Kelly Ayotte not worried about rejection by Coach Brothers Group. The billionaire Coach Brothers major issue advance group Americans of Property has been expected to be a major source of outside unconditioned help for U.S. Senator Kelly Ayotte's campaign, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. FBI searches home of Santa Bardo shooters. Brother. The FBI is searching the home of the brother of one of the Santa Bardo shooting of Conorau, California. Ohio mother makes desperate 911 call after man allegedly snatches her two-year-old son. After a two-year-old girl was allegedly snatched by a stranger outside a lawn, Ohio home, her desperate mom pleaded, placed a 911 call begging authorities to help her. Recording suggests Hillary Clinton backers test attacks line ahead of Nevada caucus. Days before Democratic voters will caucus in Nevada, the race in the state between Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton is tighter than ever. And TSB investigating helicopter crash in Pearl Harbor. The National Transportation Safety Board will investigate a helicopter crash in Pearl Harbor that left a teenager boy in critical condition. John Cassius hugs graving student and emotional moment in South Carolina. John Cassius ended his town hall at Clemson University in South Carolina this afternoon with a hug from a young man who told the Republican presidential candidate he gave him hope, aimed his personal desperate. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday. Goodbye, everyone.